This next icon here, this fifth one, is how we dynamically change a view rotation inside a dialog box. As an example, we want to change view number one. This particular box here tells us that view number one in the left side has a standard view of top. Click on this list and notice that we do have some prescribed or some predefined orientations. If I select the word ISO, and you can see the box automatically showing you a left front top, just simply press the apply button and there you'll see that your particular drawing has been changed or our drawing here has been changed to indicate the isometric planes. Select the word isometric and say you want to look at a front view and then select the apply. So once again you're able to control exactly what view you want to be able to see. The second way of using this is using a custom approach in rotation. Move your cursor to either plus or minus, and you notice for every time you click on the arrow, it's going to change and rotate based on a direction. If you end up holding it down, it's going to continually rotate. But once you get the view that you want, all you have to do is press the apply button. Now once again, you may have to fit the entire drawing in order to see it better, but there we have the simple rotation or view rotation. Remember, you can always return back to a prescribed view such as top by selecting off the list. And if I want to work in another view like view number three, simply click on the option, click on number three, and now you're ready to start. All you have to do is begin to choose the different orientations and apply them. And based on that, you should see that view change.